Hey guys, today I would like to tell you a little bit about A320 engine starting system. Like most of the modern engine, it uses pressurized air to drive a starter. And this air comes from APU, second engine or ground power unit. Starter air supply is controlled by starter shutoff valve. It is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled. Shutoff valve has manual override capability, which permit the valve to be open or closed in case of failure of electrical control. From there, pressurized air continue to the starter, where it drives turbine at a high speed. This turbine applies torque to the engine high pressure rotor system through the reduction gear in the starter and through the engine accessory gearbox system. And this is how starter looks inside, but for explanation I'll use simpler scheme. As I mentioned before, starter consists of turbine, reduction gear and centrifugal clutch. Let's take a closer look on the function of the starter. The pressurized air spin the turbine which through the reduction gear engage centrifugal clutch into the output shaft. This will initiate rotation of the high pressure rotor system through the gearbox. Starter itself have enough power to rotate N2 about 20%. During start of the engine, starter supply engine up to 50% of N2 and then starter valve close the air supply. Since starter is not supply anymore, turbine will slow down, which will disengage the clutch. That was a theory, and I'll show you how it looks during dry crank of the engine. By pressing manual start in the cockpit, you will send open signal to the starter valve. You can monitor this also on the ECAM, where the starter valve symbol changed to open position. Whenever starter will receive the command, it will send pressurized air to the starter, which will slowly start to spin accessory gearbox. From there, torque continue to the transfer gearbox, then to the inlet gearbox, which will rotate high pressure rotor system, and that one is displayed on the ECAM as an N2. Then airflow created by high pressure rotor system will start to spin low pressure rotor system, which we can see as a rotation of the fan. After switching on manual start button, starter will receive the command to close the valve, which will stop the airflow. That's all what I want to show you today guys, hopefully you learned something new and I will see you on the next one, bye!